hi guys so welcome again in the last video we have discussed everything about the bending moment and shear force you have learned what is bending moment and what is your shear force in this video we will learn what is the interrelation between these two things or what is the relations between your bending moment and your shear force okay so let's start first assume an cross section or part of beam like this okay so let's say this is one section which is m n okay and let's say this is another section and this is your m dashed n dashed clear so if let's assume there is positive shear force p acting at the section m n and also there is a clockwise or positive moment m acting on this section as bending moment okay now assume at section m dash n dash there is shear force which is your v this is equal to v y because in between these two plane there is no such external load that's why the shear force in both the plane is equal okay but the moment will differ why well we will discuss in short a while just for now assume this is your m plus dm okay so what is the value of this dm well consider this element let's say this is dx the distance between these two plane is dx okay so if we consider the static equilibrium equation the summation of vertical forces is equal to zero that's why your v is equal to v okay clear there is no such external forces and summation of horizontal forces is zero there is no such axial force so we will not discuss anything about this horizontal force and what about the moment summation of your moment clockwise positive is also zero well let take moment about this this point okay about n dashed so again draw it clearly so this is your section this is your m n m dashed n dashed this is v this is m this is v and this is m plus dm so if we take moment about this point what is the distance between these two plane delta x or dx so take moment clockwise positive so for m this is positive m for v this is v times dx okay because v is acting at distance dx from n so moment is v into dx and what about this moment cause caused by this v zero because the distance between this shear force and this point is zero because this shear force is acting in this plane itself so zero and this is anti-clockwise moment so take minus m minus b this is equal to zero from this equation of static equilibrium so from here you will get cancel m minus m so you are getting v dx is equal to dm just transfer dm to this side and simplify it you will get the dm dx is your v so very important relation this is our first relation what is this so if we take derivative of bending moment with respect to our x or the length whatever it is we will get the shear force clear now take another example so let's say this is the part of your beam okay this is one axis mn and this is another axis this is m dashed in dashed but this time in this in between of these two plane there is a udl load or uniformly distributed load with magnitude q okay q unit 
okay so if the distance in between these two plane is dx the total load is your q time dx and this is acting somewhere here which is at a distance of dx by 2 from both this plane okay so now again consider in the left side let's say this is p but in the right side now this is not equal to p why because there is a there is an external force so let assume this is dv okay and again let's say in this phase the moment is m and in this phase in this m and m dash n dash this is m plus dm again apply the static equilibrium equation so summation summation of vertical forces is equal to zero and we are getting let assume our forward force is positive so v this is plus v this is downward qx total so it is minus q time dx because q is the utl or uniformly distributed load per unit length okay total length is dx so q time dx and it is acting downward that's why we have put the minus sign and again this is also acting downward so minus v minus dv this would be zero from static equilibrium so cancel out plus v minus v we are getting minus q dx is equal to dv or dv dx is equal to minus q okay this is second most important equation so first one was that if we take the derivative of bending moment with respect to x we will get the shear force which is acting in between dx length okay and here if we take derivative of shear force with respect to dx let's say here this is the shear force this is the shear force p okay so in between if there is load p so from this equation we can say dv or v2 minus v1 by dx let's say this length is dx okay dx is equal to your p okay so here p is utl which is acting on unit length clear this is the second equation and if we again consider this same thing or let consider this body again this one similar to this one if we take moment about this n dashed what will happen okay so again draw this body this is m n m dashed and n dashed so here it is sorry this is upward v this is m this is m plus dm and this is v plus dv but in addition to the previous case here now this q load is acting or total load is q x which is at a distance of dx by 2 because the distance in between this plane is dx okay so take moment about n dashed we are getting m plus v into dx minus q into dx this is the force and moment caused by is force multiplied with distance distance is dx by 2 so dx by 2 and what about this force it is acting on this point itself so moment caused by this force is 0 and what about this moment this is anticlockwise so minus m minus dm is equal to 0 now here as dx is very small which is tends to 0 we will neglect this higher power so we will assume the value of this term as 0 so now simplify this cancel m and minus m so you are again getting v dx is equal to dm or dm dx is equal to v this is nothing but identical to equation 1 let's check it 
yes this one okay so it is clear to you that if we consider any beam let's say this one there is a any load UTL or point load whatever you will get the value of shear force when you der derivative take derivative of bending moment at any section with respect to dx let's say this is x okay so you will get shear force in this section okay similarly again for finding the magnitude of your UTL or Q if you take derivative of shear force of that section with respect to X you will get the magnitude of the UTL clear so this was all about today's lesson in the next lecture or in the next video we will learn how to draw your shear force diagram and bending moment diagram using this two equation what are the two equation well first equation is your dm dx is equal to shear force and second equation is dv dx is equal to the intensity of load acting on the section okay so till then goodbye